Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to block internet access for specific users. This block that we're going to set up will prevent the user from accessing the internet. However, that user will be able to access um, information or resources that is on the local network. So all that we are going to do is block internet access only. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify the user. So usually you could go to your DHCP server, so IP, DHCP server, and you'll see a list of computers or devices that are assigned an IP from your DHCP server. And next we are going to go to the firewall. So these are the two areas in which you need to go to, to do all of this. So first we're going to identify a user. So say for instance, I want to block this user 192.168.88.253 um, first thing that you need to do is to go to address list and the reason why we're creating an address list is just in case there are other users that you want to block you can always add them to this list so click add I'm going to call this block users and I'm going to put in the IP address for that user 192.168.88.253 OK and if there were other users what, what we could do is to do the same we could just copy make a copy of this and change change IP address so say for instance we want to block both IPs. We could create a new list with the same name and uh, change the IP address. So this is our block list and you can add additional users as per need. Next we are going to go to the firewall, the filter rules and we are going to create a rule. Click add and the rule that we are going to create is is in the forward chain so the forward chain is really for anything that is being forwarded by the firewall that means this traffic is not destined for the local era network this is destined for the internet so it will forward that and we're going to go to advance and we're going to use the source address list click on the drop down and select the block users so the reason why we're using the source is that in order for a user to get internet access or even browse a website they need to send a request to the internet and then the website to the website and then the website responds with um, based on the request from the user so we are blocking the user from even sending anything to the internet so they can so even if even if there was an existing connection the user would have to send information to the internet and if we block that um, they won't be able to browse and then for action when the change is to drop and we're gonna add a comment and say block users okay okay then what I'm going to do is to just um, move this up. Let's move this up the on top of all your forward rules. So ensure that um, this is executed before the other forward rules. So just move this on the top of the forward rules because all forward rules will be um, processed at the same time. So it's best if to put the rule just above all of these. So you want the block to occur before anything else. And uh, you're seeing where there are some packets being being dropped. So uh, let us try and see. So this is a computer that is blocked. So first, what I'm going to do is to disable the rule. and let's try to watch something 
All right, so the video is loading. So the user is able to browse. Now, I'm going to enable the rule. And let us try it again. So all I did was click forward. So because some of the information was already loaded, you will see the page. But say for instance, we click on a, another video. It won't load. So I'm clicking on all these videos. All right, let me type the web another website. So say we're going to go on Google. page will not load so the user is blocked from the internet however this user can access the local network so if I put in um, the IP address for the router the user is able to access the local network so the local network is accessible so this is just my test network um, but the user is able to access a local network but they are unable to browse if I go try to go back to YouTube, it will not load. So it will be there until the connection times out. So if we go back to the router, we we'll see where it is currently dropping all the, the the packets that are sent by the user, by this sent by the user this user's device. So that is how you'd you'd go about um, blocking users from accessing the internet. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.